Find the missing dimension of the cone. Round your answer to the nearest whole number. That's right. Let's do this. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is write my formula for the volume of a cone. So V equals pi r squared h divided by 3. I'm going to plug in the pieces that it has given me. There's three spots I could plug in. I could plug in at the volume spot, the radius spot, and the height spot. So let's just plug in what we've got. It gave us a volume of 55. It gave us a height, but we don't have the radius. So I'm going to write all that out. Pi, r squared, and then where the height goes, I'm going to put a 5 and divide it by 3. First thing I like to do is get rid of this 3 on the bottom that's dividing. So I'm going to times both sides by 3 to get rid of that. That'll basically turn this into a cylinder problem because we know three cones go into a cylinder. So now we've got 165 equals pi r squared and 5. These three is canceled out. Okay, one last, uh, no, two steps left actually. We've got to get rid of the pi and the 5. So we'll divide by pi and 5. So I'll punch that in. Make sure you use parentheses on this. So I get about 10.5, but I'm not going to delete that number off my calculator. Make sure you leave that on your screen. Let's just kind of write it down. We have r squared is about 10.5. And here's why I left that on my screen. So when I take the square root of this, I can still see what to do. So I'm going to take the square root to get r, because we have r squared. So 10. 0.504226. It's nice to type a bunch of numbers in so you get an exact square root. Looks like it didn't really matter. We're rounding this to the whole number anyway. So we're going to round this to about 3. So the radius of this cone is about 3. Oh, I should have done a wiggly equal sign. Southwest 212 over and out.